five more with Snow White and seven more with me. Hey y'all, happy Friday. It is finally the weekend. I feel like this week was the longest week ever for me. I was attempting to film a what I spend in a day vlog throughout this entire week. That took up a lot of my time and then I felt like I was in meetings and castings like the whole week. So it's been a crazy busy week for me but that is great. I love being busy. I love it way better than just being stagnant and not doing anything. So I'm not complaining but it is the start of the weekend and I have been cooped up in my apartment pretty much this entire week although I've been pretty busy I have not been outside it's been rainy it's been cold and it's been disgusting outside so I was just trying to avoid being out in that but I've had enough I gotta get out I gotta do some socializing so I am about to go grab some pizza at my favorite spot you already know Zazie's and West Village I think it is and then I am going to an improv session tonight so if you guys don't know what improv is it's kind of like it kind of combines comedy and like acting if that makes sense I'm probably doing a terrible job at explaining what it is but people basically they don't have a script they don't have anything um, and they act out an entire skit just by being given either a scenario or just like a random word and they have to create an entire ongoing skit just based on that one thing that they just received and it's supposed to really help with like your comedic timing and just acting in general and also stage fright or public speaking is something if that's something that you deal with I am not necessarily shy when it comes to getting on stage or like public speaking or anything but my acting skills are trash and you really have to have some kind of acting background acting skills if you want to be a successful model and a multifaceted model so to speak so I, ch I told myself that I was gonna start taking acting classes and taking it a little bit more seriously so that I could be a more marketable model and so I found this improv um, session on meetup it's only five dollars to attend so it's literally exactly what I'm looking for so after I go get something to eat I'm gonna go to the class I'm really excited about it although I'm a little nervous just because I don't know any of these people they're all strangers and they all have probably probably been doing improv for obviously longer than I have because I've never done improv so we will see how it goes but I'm excited to get out and socialize because like I said I have been cooped up in my apartment for far too long Alright guys, so I am back from improv and it was so much fun. I've realized that I am low-key socially awkward, but everyone there thought I was funny, obviously. Um, if you guys know me, like I am actually pretty funny in real life. I have like this dry sense of humor, kind of like airing on the side of sarcasm. There were some times where I kind of just stood on the sidelines because I had absolutely no idea how to come up with 
any kind of scene with some of the words that they were throwing out at us, but there were a lot of people there who have been doing improv for much longer than I have, so they were doing way better um, than myself, but it wasn't any kind of competition or anything. We were all just there having fun. I think the next time that I go, I can definitely do a better job at actually introducing myself and communicating with people. I kind of just showed up and we all like went into the room and got started immediately. There were no introductions or anything like that. And then I left kind of early, so I don't even know if they did like a little mix and mingle thing at the end. So next time I am gonna be fully committed and actually make an effort to introduce myself and whatnot. I wanted to hurry up and get back home because while I was there, I got a couple of casting requests that I wanna try to get done tonight because um, I have a full day planned for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed because I'm really tired and I just want to go to bed but I know that if I don't get this stuff done tonight then it'll just get pushed into next week and I'll be even more overwhelmed so um yeah I'm gonna work on that stuff tonight and check in with you guys tomorrow what's the matter just high fever Saturday so as you can see I just had um, my casting for the day it's been a while since I've done a live casting I think my last live casting was like early last month or something but most of the time when I'm doing a casting I just film it on my own and send it out to the casting director but this was a really quick turnaround time they literally told me last night that I would have this casting today so I had to like memorize the script and everything I feel that's been the hardest part about doing commercials and stuff at least scripted commercials is that my memory is like terrible um I don't know why but memorizing scripts is so hard for me and when I do do commercials that require me to have a script the um there's usually a person like holding your cue cards or like holding the script cards and there have been occasions where they have to read me the script line for line just because my memory is so bad and that's not good like no one wants to be on set all day just feeding the model line so I'm trying to think of ways that will help me memorize scripts better so overall I think the casting went pretty well um, fingers crossed that I booked the job now I'm about to get dressed and meet my friend at MoMA aka the Museum of Modern Art. This will be my first time going. I'm really excited. Um, I was able to get free tickets for both of us via the cultural pass. So if you guys are not familiar with what the cultural pass is, uh, basically if you have a book if you have a Brooklyn Public Library card, um, like ID number and everything like that, you can sign up for a cultural pass. I think you get like five a year or something like that don't quote me on it this is actually my first time using my cultural pass but um, you get access to the museums for free so MoMA I believe for New York um, adults is $25 for entry but with my cultural pass we were able to get the tickets for free and um, the cultural pass claim is good for up to two people so I got it for myself and my friend I tried to be cute and leave my apartment without a hat on, without gloves on, and a completely different coat. I literally got like a block away from my apartment, turned right back around, <laughs> grabbed a hat, changed coats, and put on some gloves. It is so unbelievably cold out here, you guys. I don't even want to be outside right now.
guys, I look so good. <laughs> I'm about to meet my friend for dinner, but you guys, I'm about to go against everything I believe in and order an Uber. I literally can't even remember the last time I ordered an Uber. It was probably like mid-2021. Y'all know on my channel, I always say Uber and Lyft are super convenient companies. Like I have nothing against the companies themselves. They're just entirely too expensive in New York City and I just would rather take the subway or the bus. But it is freezing outside and I look too cute to be struggling outside in my heels just like freezing my behind off. So I'm going to bite the bullet and um, use Uber tonight. But just know I'm not leaving my apartment for like the next month because of this. Like don't know, nobody try to make plans with me. Nobody invite me anywhere. Absolutely not. We are going to Serafina tonight. I'm super excited because I've never been, but it's a really popular restaurant in uh, the city and they also have locations like all over the world. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Happy Sunday, so I actually got booked at the last minute for a job today, so I'm super excited. I am heading to World Trade Center now. My call time is at 12.45, so <laughs> basically in like five minutes, so I am running a little bit behind, but I did get to sleep in this morning, which was amazing. I did have to sign a non-disclosure for this booking today, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any behind the scenes for you guys. But I know the first thing I have to do is get a COVID test as soon as I get into the building. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try to show you guys as much as I can today, but I honestly don't think I'll be able to get a lot. So don't get your hopes up. You guys, this building is literally so confusing. My attitude is so stank right now because I'm late and I can't figure out where to go over it. guys it was a chill day on set i must say today i was pretty ad admittedly i can admit i can admit i was pretty anti-social on set today i just wasn't in a very like social mood per se and it's not to say that i was being unfriendly i was kind of just doing my own thing yeah i didn't really feel like being super talkative so when i got there i literally just chilled and like edited a couple of videos on my phone and then when they were ready to use us, I went and did my job and then I went home. So there are some days um, where I wanna be super social and talk to the other models on set and there are some days where I'm just not in the mood. And like I said, it's not, being, it's not me being unfriendly. It's just we all have our days and today was one of my days. This booking was super last minute so I don't think I was like mentally prepared to be there um but i still showed up still did my job correctly and everything like that all in all it was a good shoot and i'm thankful to have booked it even on such short notice but i'm about to take this makeup off my face and um catch up on some editing you guys i have like four videos to finish editing um i am a little behind on editing but as always i hope you guys enjoyed this new york city weekend vlog and i will catch you in the next video Bye. Cause I'm not just a pretty girl. I'm